Can't find love? Hmm. That day is over. With Just Date Numbers, we can reveal all your secrets to sex and love. We call it Secrets of Birthdays, the love and lust report. Find out the secret to your heart at secretsofbirthdays.com. So What's up, producer? It's DJ Dewey, man, sitting in for Christopher Watecki. He had a little bit of a spell with Halloween candy. And I want to invite you down to a little party we're having, man. All the chicks are dressing up as Miss Lilith. We're looking for the best inner rage of a girl. In fact, I don't know if you know this, man, but Lilith is the ex-wife of Adam. It's always those ex-wives, man. Always those ex-wives. And we've got this new sale going on. Watecki want to tell me. It's revolutionary, all right? If you buy a reading, he'll gift away one to someone new, man. Blow someone's mind, you know. Go in on it with a friend if you want. Christmas is coming. Well, for the bulls. All right, that's all I can do. <laughs> I'm in character for the open. Happy Halloween, Tauruses. Uh, so good to see you. Thank you for tolerating my cool, groovy, uh, hippie costume. I'm having a good time playing this costume. And uh, I hope you have a happy Halloween. Come on down to our Lilith Fair today if you... Uh, don't know. And we are in chapter one of Sun and Scorpio. As I come back from a little bit of a health retreat, I had a breakdown myself. Uh, my emotions went into my belly, in my belly, and I didn't feel good. And I'm back now. For you, uh, you don't have a Leo rising like I do, but it did have to do with the mirage. That's where we're at. Chapter one, Sun and Scorpio, how we relate to ourselves, how we marry ourselves, how we commit to ourselves. That's what it's been about so far in the first seven or eight days. Uh, and that's what we're working on. This is not just a seven and eight day one. This time, though, this is the start of a three-year Saturn transit. So here in these first nine days, chapter one, we're working on the mirage, how you relate to yourself. If you are not a wife, good wife or husband to yourself, then you will not draw in uh, that equivalent or you will not... Uh, uh, you know, drawing that even out of the existing uh, relationships. You have to kind of stand tall in that regard. So working on the mirage is where we start. This, of course, is your overall sense of balance. And with Taurus is they maintain balance by basically how they open up to mirage at first, balance at large, and then how they marry at the high end. So at the end of this transit, you'll be pointing towards long-term relationship development. But in this end, it is right now about mirage. So we had a full moon while I was away in Taurus, giving you a lot of confidence. And on Halloween, it is still in the air, sunny and cool and confident uh, for the bulls. It's also a Saturn rule day. So it is a day of feeling uh, strong and ready to make a decision. And that's exactly what it is time to do. It's time to step away and decide what to step away from in the old mirage, the old way you used to treat yourself. Did you used to beat yourself up? Were you there for yourself? Did you put yourself till last. What was the old mirage like? Were you easy to be married to? Or were you hard to be married to? Whatever it is, step away from it. You may not know where you're going, but you know where you're not going anymore. And that's what this Saturn rule decision day is. You're still feeling confident with the moon full in your sign, or at least coming down uh, off the full moon. So go ahead and, and call it. Uh, <clears throat> now, Venus in Libra means that you will feel uh, at this point at four degrees, the new lifestyle clicking into gear, the one you worked so long for, you didn't know that committing to your own mirage was the last step of that lifestyle starting to feel real. And it is, in fact, the case. Then on Thursday, Mars rules a day, you are feeling valuable. The moon moves into Gemini, shifting emotional focus to soul capital and being abundant and producing and doing what Tauruses do best, which is to produce. So you are feeling productive, I think, and wanting to feel productive, maybe feeling around issues of money and value. But I think with Mars ruling the day, you're ready to step out of the old mirage. So even if you are concerned with money, you are being a good partner to yourself at this point, I would think. Um, here we go. Sorry. Blank there. And as you step out of the old me ridge and toward a new sense of balance, one that is fair to yourself, these railroad tracks sort of happen. The moon in Gemini makes you, you feel your value, and that translates into the new lifestyle happening now. Uranus and Aries means a new inner faith is born, and this plays out to new trust in yourself uh, with Mercury in Sagittarius. So a lot of uh, co-conspiring uh, co going on by the universe to grow uh, as you take the leap. 
Then on Friday, Friday actually Mother Earth or Taurus rules the day, so you're feeling really good. Sunny and light casting. I think you're going to really lay back and allow things kind of come to you. You are definitely squatting and holding space. It's a new territory of being able to maintain balance because the last brick is in place, which is the mirage and where that needs to go. Saturn is going to continue with that. There's a lot of deep cutting that will happen in your life, but at least now you have clarity. Looking at the planets, things are on an all stop as far as the rest of the world. Uh, this opposition with the moon is your sense of value, but Mars and Sag is impatient to make changes or for intimacy. Mars and Sag might be making Taurus as a little randy right now. Uranus and Aries is opposing Libra, uh, Venus and Libra, and this means that you're always having to innovate interfaith, but reality seems to be held out. Really, reality is holding things up on Friday. Really, the job of Friday is to squat in the new mirage and open up your heart to the potential of the future. That's really the best I think you can hope for on Friday. Then on Saturday, um, it's a very beautiful day. It's a Chiron rule day. We're going to find synergy, energy, syn sunny and clear-minded, I think, for the bulls. Uh, part of that clear-mindedness is going to lead to some really great break for through. That's because we have a soul pyramid in water. So your feelings and your thoughts start to come together, and this really trines into a new sense of purpose in society, where you belong in society. And then over to the topic of the month, which is relationships. So you're feeling new relations, you're feeling a new group of society open up to you, and you're feeling a new attitude as a result. They all go together. The attitude opens the friends, opens the relationships, and so forth. So it's all of an attitude. But the grand square now comes to a full head. So again, life doesn't move forward. This time, though, it's not with trust and intimacy, but Pluto in Capricorn and the moon in Sag, I mean in, in Cancer, which means attitude versus belief. So on Saturday, it's like, oh, I think this, but I believe that, and it should be, and then, and then this is faith versus reality. But I don't see evidence, but I have faith. Okay, again, nothing's supposed to happen in reality, I think, on Saturday. It's supposed to just uh, be this water pyramid underneath where you're feeling uh, the synergy between new relationships, new place in society, and you're feeling it, and it's underneath, which means pre-manifested. Then on Sunday, sunny and excited. I think we start to get excited. You are now squatting, and I think for the first time, maybe you are feeling success, starting to be ready for a uh, long-term relationship and the idea of that uh, around the corner. So it's really unlimited possibility with a great attitude with the moon and cancer. Sunny and excited is how I'm uh, predicting it. I can't wait. Now, Mercury at 4 degrees does say that a new trust in reality happens at this point. You start to go, wow, I'm starting to trust reality. I'm starting to trust this is all going to work. And I think that's really good news as well. And then, of course, your attitude is directly trining into you in the moment and you being able to relate. So that attitude goes a long way. Definitely open your mouth on Sunday and talk to people. All right, man, that's all I got for this happy Halloween episode, man. But you'll be seeing me in the future. Don't even think how you won't. And thanks for tolerating my character acting. I will see you all either on the Mothership Party in with Halloween or I will see you uh, in, on Fun Day Sunday. Until then, live, love, be. Oh.